Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to find out if we made a difference or not. Um, did our advice reach it? You know, reach the, the CGC headquarters? I'd like to think so, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look here. So we have something interesting, and uh, I meant to make a video on this earlier when it was more relevant, but uh, still a good discussion to have. I think still a good video to make here. Uh, we have something of interest. Uh, thanks, first of all, to the gentleman collector who sent this to me. Um, we have a, a listing here on Verbank. Uh, and this was a, a while back, back before Pokemon Go came out. Uh, we have here a Radiant Blastoise for $1,800. Very interesting. It uh, It's no longer on there, so I don't know exactly what happened. But if anyone does, please let me know. Uh, just curious, most mostly. Uh, but uh, the most important thing here is CGC is seemingly no longer giving special labels to unreleased cards. So um, this Radiant Blastoise was graded before the set came out, and it has no indication of such. There's no uh, inadvertent early release on the label. Uh, that is one of the biggest things that I've been anti-CGC about, and uh, it seems like they've stopped. I think this is a great step if this is intentional. Uh, if this is the, the route that they're going, uh, I don't think it's perfect. I don't think they should be grading anything that's not released whatsoever. But uh, certainly, um, this provides far less incentive to, to purchase these stolen cards. Uh, once the set comes out, this is just another 8.5 Radiant Blastoise, one of many at some point, eventually, I'm sure, uh, since, you know, CGC loves to, to pump out those, uh, those 8.5s. The seller somehow thinks this thing is worth eighteen hundred dollars uh and I, I really hope no one paid anywhere close to this much for it uh, for anyone who doesn't know at this point this is uh what i would consider a junk slab um, shouldn't be worth paying uh the actual fees to grade it uh it shouldn't add any value to the card the, the fees to grade this Blastoise are now more than what the, the, the actual Blastoise is worth. So unless it's something that you just really want it to be in a, a, a slab, um, especially in a, a lower grade on something that's modern and printed at an extremely good quality for the most part. I know a lot of people have been getting some some weird stuff from the, uh, the factory recently, but still, these are, these are everywhere. To find one that's better than 8.5, not going to be hard. Um, so, uh, we did, we took a look at all of the inadvertent early release cards in the CGC pop report recently, some clearly stolen, some accidentally mixed in with other products, looking at you, French McDonald's cards, uh, but, um, I, unless people are doing it live, we, have, we see multiple in instances of it happening, um, I'm calling BS on, on a lot of this stuff, we've seen a lot recently where it's probably repacked in. Uh, as an excuse on how people got them. But uh, yeah, I can put a link to that video in the description, along with some other relevant videos on previous examples that we've taken a look at on the channel. Uh, those previous examples being the Shining Fates Charizard VMAX, we had the, um, the, the Stolen Celebrations, the Stolen Brilliant Stars, and uh, most recently the uh, Stolen Pokemon Go. Uh, most of the time, uh, this is coming from uh, the print facility itself, um, and just a little reminder, if it's like over a month before release, it's not like accidentally put on shelves or anything like that. It's not even close to being at that point. Um, at that point, you're you're looking at distributor level or prior. Um, so usually print facility is the, uh, the culprit. Uh, I have to keep explaining this for some reason. Um, I don't really care that people have something a bit early. Um, as much as I do care that people are potentially ruining their lives to steal from work, because that's kind of what it boils down to. Um, I do care that CGC was incentivizing it by allowing these stolen cards to retain value once the sets do release. It's bad enough that people will pay a premium to purchase them early, but uh, even worse that uh, there's an incentive, or that incentive is sort of multiplied by the fact that you can get a special label that no one can ever get after that. Um, it's, it's just not it's just not good it's uh it's not a good time there's a reason why the other grading companies don't do it no it's not because they don't want to do the super science plus to 
to make sure that it's a real card. They can tell if it's a real card. I, I can tell in pictures if it's a real card that isn't released yet. Um, that's not it. So um, before someone claims that CGC might not know that they are stolen, uh, we've seen DMs that show that they have known cards were stolen and still graded them. So that's, it's not an argument at that point. I think even if it's questionable at any point, even if they didn't have the words straight in front of them that they're stolen, probably good to just stay off of all of it. Um, it's not uh, it's not a good look. Uh, so you, you might say, why is it a big deal uh, that people are taking these cards from the print facility? They're only Pokemon cards. Well, first off, it's a great way to lose your job. You can't steal from work. That's It's pretty common sense. No matter where you work, if you're stealing from work, you're probably going to lose your job. Uh, you're also at a huge risk of being sued by the Pokemon company. A perfect example that I've stated many times, which people don't seem to understand, and is the complete counter to your argument that they're only Pokemon cards. The Sword and Shield guidebooks, the people, the two guys that leaked them, um, the two individuals involved were both sued for $150,000 US each. Is it going to happen with Pokemon cards? I mean, it might. Is it worth risking it for a couple hundred bucks? No, definitely not. Even if you get $1,800 for your Radiant Blastoise, that's not worth it. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but it's not worth it. Like, look at this Blastoise. It's a $12 card in near mint, uh, and you, pro you probably even end up with something that's better than the 8.5 if you buy one at that price. So, <laughs> at least this makes it not worth it other than being able to show off your your stolen Blastoise for a little bit. This makes it uh, n not worth it now at this point in time that uh, the Blastoise that was listed for $1,800, um, you could argue that it's worth the you know, grading fee of $20, maybe the shipping, whatever, uh, but it probably shouldn't even have been graded to begin with. Um, I'm not sure. People also overvalue stuff that hasn't been released yet. Like the Charizard, the Blastoise, and the Venusaur, we saw how easy Radiant Pokemon were to pull. It's the same thing every time. It's like the Amazing Rares. They're not hard to pull. You get them all the time. They're going to be in abundance. People are open to all kinds of this stuff, and you're going to see them. They're not going to be expensive. They're going to go out down in price when they're not the newest cool thing. They've already dropped significantly. And uh, look, we got, you know, of the, the five in the Pop Report right now, uh, three of those are a higher grade than this one, so um, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in, uh, it, it's in the other video, but you can you can type in like inadvertent early release here, and you can take a look at all the uh, the cards that were graded early. Again, one of one of my biggest gripes with uh, with CGC um, that and just uh, I think grading the the items that don't have like a verified release, don't have a, a, an origin story uh, to just like straight up label those or grade them as authentic. It, uh, it rubs me the wrong way. But uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I know a lot of this stuff is me repeating myself, but uh, I think some people need to hear that or they didn't watch previous videos where I explained that. A lot of people like to leave comments and don't even watch the video. But yeah, join the Discord. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.